Bad Mother with my new favorite barista, Eileen. Thank you so yeah. much for taking the time to talk yeah, to me today. Yeah, it's absolutely a pleasure. So, yeah. Bad Mother. Yes. I love the name. I'm a new mom. I like to consider myself a bad mother. What makes Bad Mother so cool? I think we bring an element of, like, surprise or, like, open to interpretation. It's a great place for coffee lovers, coffee connoisseurs. How would you describe coffee culture? Because people will travel to go yeah. and get a good coffee. Absolutely. I feel like it's... For some people, it's a ritual, you know, get up in the morning, get your day started. For others, like a lot of us, it's a sense of community and like you go to a coffee shop and you know two to three people and then we all know each other and fun. And you get to bond as you're sipping on coffee. Yeah, and absolutely. I think the cool thing is there's this whole creative side. So tell me about latte art. Basically, you create a photo on top of the surface level of the foam of the latte or coffee beverage and it's just like a piece of art and it's done freehanded. It's so awesome and this was the place where a big throwdown of latte yeah, artists yeah, all yeah, met yeah. together. How Absolutely. did that go? That went amazing. We had about 35 competitors somewhere around there and they all went head to head to throw down in this latte art competition. It was, it was really great. And we actually had one of our very own win the competition. That's so cool. Yeah. One of your baristas She's won. gonna be showing you how to make some latte art in a moment. That leads to my next question. Is latte art something that anyone can pick up or does it take like what you've done, years of experience in coffee to do it? Surprisingly, I feel like it's a little bit of both. You know, we do have the luxury of working somewhere where you have a very expensive espresso machine, which not a lot of people can replicate at home. Okay, I'm gonna dip my toes into yeah, the coffee Yeah, absolutely, drip. I'm excited for you to try. Thanks. It's a lot of fun. And we are now here with the Latte Art Throwdown winner, Katie, Hello. congratulations. Thank you so much, I appreciate it. So yeah. what was the art that you made that won it all? I did a classic tulip design. Mm -hmm. Tulip, that sounds pretty. What are some other things that you can make with lattes? Ooh, we can do a rosetta, we can do a slowzetta, we can do a swan. It sounds like the possibilities are endless as really long as is. it can fit in the mug. Pretty much, yeah. <laughs> yes. Okay, and what do we have here in front of us that we're gonna use to make our latte art? So we've got the espresso, which is the base for any sort of latte drink. And then we've got our milk here, ice cold, so that we have a nice uh, texture for our milk. Yeah, and then I'm just gonna go steam this for us so that we can pour. All right, so it's all in the pour. Let's go ahead and get our, our milk steamed. Yeah, Thank you. of course. All right, so here is your freshly steamed milk for you. Ooh. Yes, much warmer, thank you. Yes, of course, of course. <laughs> okay, so now what do we do? All right, so we're gonna pick up your cup, like so. Okay. You wanna make the espresso kind of flat like this to make a nice canvas. Okay. And stir a little bit harder, and then do a little bit of a incorporation just like that. Okay. Perfect, and then. So you're just like swiping it forward? Pretty much, yeah. And we're gonna let the milk foam rest Why on the Why is it mine sitting the on the top? <laughs> it's just gotta going. Get, <laughs> you gotta what? get your pitcher uh, a little bit closer to the milk. You gotta draw on it like a pencil. Katie, what's going on here? <laughs> what's going on, Katie? Ooh. Look hey, at that. Hey, I got oh a dot. Gosh, you got a little I bean. I call this acorn latte yes. art. Oh my gosh, it's beautiful. Thank it's you. It's beautiful. And I like the, the garnish um, on yes. the table here. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. so, so in the future, I need yes. to like make this a little closer to the, the edge. I still yes. have a little more I can go, right? Oh yeah. Can I do a little more? I think you have room for a unicorn. Unicorn? Look, what? It looks just like it. It oh does. My God. <laughs> Thank you. I mean, it's it's abstract art. Really I'm is, going yeah. for a Picasso of course, style of latte. Yeah. Can we give it one more try? Absolutely. Can we do like a head to head, yeah, like mini let's, throwdown? Let's go head to head. Yeah. Okay. I think we're going to have to <laughs> go head to head. Okay. <laughs> let's do this. Thanks. <laughs> Thank you, Katie. Of course. All right, we got our fresh hot milk. Let me do my okay. little tap tap. Yeah, I gotta get that's, all the bubbles out. That's our way of saying on your mark, get set. Yep. You ready? Uh, you get to I see my I'm competitive ready. side. Oh yeah. Let's, Let's go. go. <laughs> wait, here it comes, here it comes. Wait, wait for it. Wait for it. This Whoa. is my elephant. <gasps> Whoa. 
Can you see? It's an elephant trunk. Oh my gosh, that, that's beautiful. Thank you. Okay, I can really wait. See it. Yours is actually beautiful. No, stop, stop, <laughs> stop. I have a newfound appreciation for latte art. It, it's great. a lot harder than it looks. This is truly amazing. Thank you so much for yeah. showing me this. And yeah. then once you've made your creations, do you actually drink it or do, is it hard for you to give it to someone else after you admire your work? Um, I crush it. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay, well, cheers to that. Time. Let's do it. Cheers. Thank you so much. Thank you.